Hey guys, how's it going? I am narrating for DJ Deathstar. He's my buddy. He is sick. And I am here with my two good friends, Chewy. You can call him Chewbacca. <coughs> and my good, my good friend T. First name, mister. Middle name, period. Last name, T. That's what I'm talking about. Now, DJ and his foe lead off with guys and they both set up rocks now DJ not wanting to take a stab earthquake or this overall deal with this stupid hippo he explodes and that's gonna get the KO what do you think Chewie? that's what I'm talking about fair trade off they both get rocks up and they both lose their leads who gives so DJ sends out Sizer and uh... you know the guy, Jamie, sends out uh, a Flygon, and Bullet Punch isn't going to KO, but I was really expecting a Flygon to have, like, Fire Punch or Fire Blast, but he doesn't, he just he turns up, and he sends in Heatran, and that is definitely going to scare DJ off, and, um, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, he's going to send out Latias as... Jamie sets up the subtran. I just want to say I'm so happy to pe people start using subtran more. Uh, it's way, it's so good. It's so good. If you're using scarf train still, you need to knock it off because I mean, honestly, that's what I'm talking about. And you, you know, specs train, subtran, both good. Special wall trans, one of my favorites. I haven't used life orb train yet, but I'm imagine it's amazing um, so after he breaks a sub he predicts that the heat ran will stay in and he's right and he goes into sizer and the other dude goes into conflable confl clefable and then he takes a superpower Don't give me no back talk, sucker. I wasn't um, so that's that's the end of clefable and you know then the sandstorm rages on as they tend to do now, he sends Tran back out, and DJ, being a smart cookie, was expecting a sub, but he didn't get it. He got a flamethrower to the face. I, that's probably exactly what he said. That's probably exactly what DJ said when that happened. He sends Latias back out, and knowing he can't get another outing out of Latias, he goes for the surf. And just goes for the KO on the Tran. And, huh. Sandstorm's not going to quite take him out. But, you know. Sends out Flygon. Flygon's not going to outspeed it and you turn to do all that whole thing. And that is, see you later, Latias. Um, so now he sends out Scyther. But that gives a good chance for a DJ to set up a counter. Which is nice, you know. Sometimes you turn backfires on you. Uh, he sends out Machamp, and that could this could be a better matchup. Um, the opponent guy sets up a sword stance, which is good for him, but DJ just goes for the dynamic punch and gets confusion. And it's going to be good if he gets the confusion hit, because uh, it will be a plus two hit on himself, but he doesn't, and he gets the roost off. And that just is a big fat bummer. Um, yeah, me too. Um, so he doesn't get the confusion hit, and he dynamic punches again, and that's not gonna do anything. And I, that's just sucks. It sucks. That's the shits. Um, he snaps out of confusion, gets a bullet punch off, but that shouldn't KO Machamp. He's pretty bulky. Uh, he gets the, the dynamic punch off, and that is good times. So, Machamp's still there, you know, rocking the shit. And Scyther's down in the pit, and he sends out Flygon again, and what's he gonna do? He's gonna go for the super cool looking outrage. Yeah, boy. And that's gonna take out Machamp. Um, so, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, he's got the, uh, the, the, the milk tank now. And Mr. T's like... Shut up, 
Outrage. Don't give me no back talk, sucker. Oh, what's in? I pity the fool. Me too. Um, so he says McToss is at the death. Now, Jamie... You know, the sandstorm rages on first. Because, you know, you can't have a sandstorm that doesn't rage on. And then Jamie's got just the sand dweller left. And that is the ever so gimmicky uh, cacturn. But it's a special one, which is neat. But just kind of weird for me. I didn't like it. I don't like how, how he used it at all. Um, I prefer the sub source stance one. If you're going to abuse Sand Veil, you might as well do it to the full extent that you can do it. Um, so, yep. Uh, DJ's just going to heal off uh, the damage, because he can heal off more than he's taking. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know. So, uh, he's going to get down until he thinks or get up until he thinks he can take two hits and start attacking, so he doesn't have to worry about sand veil. But the problem is here, you know, you you just heal enough times. By the way, the milk drink animation's awesome, I love it. Um, that you're bound to get critted. And I think that's what happens right here. Um, yeah. So he gets credit, and that's super bad, but you know what, uh, DJ's got this dude, and I never remember his name, but it starts with an A, and it has a Feroz in there, and he goes for the Discharge, maybe hoping for the Paralyze, um, but it's resisted, so it's not gonna KO, um, obviously, but he's gonna, he took the Dark Pulse well, because those guys are pretty bulky. And he's going to take another one, and that's not that much of a problem. So he's going to discharge, and that's going to get him the win. Uh, good game, other dude. Good game, DJ. Thanks for letting me narrate. It was fun. I liked it. I loved it. Have me do it again sometime. This is Chewie signing off.